Hey everybody, this is Project SBC, updating on my Nintendo Switch style Windows 10 computer project. And so here it is, the work in progress prototype. Now I've broken this up into two big parts. We have the screen assembly and we have the computer case. Let's go over the screen assembly first. On top here we have a recess feature for the screen. Now I haven't committed this screen to this yet because I'm probably going to make several prototypes and I don't want to commit this screen and the adhesive that comes with it to this iteration yet. On the sides we have some Joy-Con mounting features. Now I was going to be ambitious and try and design Joy-Con mounting features, but in the end I decided not to reinvent the wheel. The Joy-Con grips that you get with the Nintendo Switch actually have really good metal brackets that's easy to take off. It's easy to dimension the size of the bracket and when you go to assemble everything it looks clean, looks like a Nintendo Switch. You're guaranteed to work with all the Nintendo Joy-Cons that you have and it locks in place. And here's a quick glimpse of the back side of the screen case. Let's move on to the computer case. It's a straightforward design. I didn't try and go crazy yet, trying to make bevels and edges and everything like that. So on the right-hand side here, there's an extra gap. I intentionally left that there to give some space for the ribbon connectors that are going to connect for the screen. USB. USB Type-C for power, and HDMI port, and audio jack. And on the back here we have a grill for the fan. I might have messed up here a little bit trying to put the position of these holes, but it's pretty close for the first try. So here's the whole thing together. So what do I have planned next? Um, mount the Joy-Con brackets to the screen case with the screws that I left in the Joy-Con grip here to prevent them from popping out. I gotta drill out some holes for the M3 hardware so that it will mount cleanly all the way through. I gotta design and print a power button to go in here so we don't see the little power button sticking through. And I gotta make a video of the whole thing running. Some future considerations, um, an internal battery. Uh, unfortunately, this version isn't gonna have a battery in it, um, but I am trying to find some batteries that will work and have a low profile volume so I can try and fit it into a nice clean case. I wanna add some beveled edges and make it look a little bit cleaner than it is right now. It's very bulky. And I want to slim the design down to eliminate some of the unnecessary space you'll find in places like here and here. So that's it. Um, so if you want to follow the continuation of this, this design, hit subscribe so you can be updated on new videos. I will try and post a new video here in less than a week with the whole thing assembled and running.